On Thursday, February 28th, Bellator MMA invades the Santa Ana Star Center in New Mexico and features a battle for the company's 205-pound championship. In the main event of the night, Christian Mpumbu looks for the first defense of his title when he's paired with tournament winner Attila Vey. The 35-year-old champion dominated the Season 4 light heavyweight tournament, taking out his skilled opposition, which included the massive Richard Hale, along with ADCC veteran Tim Carpenter, all by stoppage, proving to be a formidable opponent that shouldn't be underestimated. After dropping a loss against Travis View in a non-title outing, the Zaire-born Mpumbu is sure to come out of the gate firing on all cylinders. His opponent, Vey, has 21 stoppages in his 28 wins and will be a stern test for anyone in the 205-pound class. To make it to the title showdown with the champion, the 28-year-old challenger dispatched Zell Galasic, Emmanuel Newton and Travis View and should present a plethora of problems for the 18-4-1 Mpumbu. And a lightweight semi-final tournament bout, undefeated American Will Brooks takes on Millennia MMA student Sada Wad who made the most of his promotional debut by taking out explosive French fighter Guillaume de Lorenzi in less than a minute into the contest. While his opponent surprised many with his TKO victory over Japanese submission specialist Satoru Kitayoka on New Year's Eve at Dream 18. The 26-year-old Brooks is sure to use his wrestling background to avoid the punching power of Awad, and if he can slow the fight down and wear down his game rival, he could be a man to watch out for in the tournament. In a rematch, David Rickles and Jason Fisher battle in a lightweight semi-final tournament bout on the televised portion of the card. The 24-year-old Rickles brings certain intensity to the MMA game that few in the promotion can match. Hoping to extend his winning streak to three straight, the former welterweight should push the pace in an attempt to exhaust his less experienced rival before searching for the fight-ending submission. Nicknamed the finisher, the Detroit-based Fisher holds stoppages over all six of his victims and is sure to be prepared for the ground attack of the 12-1 Rickles. Fans should expect an exciting back-and-forth affair and a bout that could steal the spotlight.